Welcome to Sky Broking Equity Weekly Market Commentary. Disclaimer: This weekly market commentary is for information purpose only. Before taking any decision, consult a financial advisor. Now let's see the fundamental analysis. Checking out the global queues, every asset class has been on a roller coaster ride as investors are watching central bankers all around the globe tightening monetary policy to fight inflation. Financial conditions are starting to tighten and the risks of slower growth are accelerating. The focus for the upcoming week will naturally be a wrath of Fed speak and the latest US CPI data which is expected to show inflation decelerated sharply last month. A sharper decline with prices could vindicate Fed Chair Powell's decision to remove a 75 basis point rate increase at the next couple policy meetings. Moving on to the domestic use, the Reserve Bank of India sprung a surprise rate hike on markets this past week, sending the Sensex lower, Willist providing some support to INR temporarily. India's CPI inflation release on Thursday will be this week's key risk event. If the data comes in above expectations at 7.30%, expectations will rise of a faster, more aggressive hiking cycle from the RBI which was quite hawkish in its guidance after the hike. That will send Indian equities sharply lower once again while possibly modifying the impact on the INR from a rampant US dollar. Major results of this week are UPL on Monday, Sipla on Tuesday, Adani Ports on Wednesday, l Tata Motors on Thursday, Ica Motors, SBI and Tech Mahindra on Friday. So these are this week's fundamental analysis. Now let's look into the technical analysis. Nifty may expect a high volatility trade in between 16,194 to 16,893 levels. Bank Nifty may expect a high volatility trade in between 34,221 to 36,038 levels. So these are this week's technical analysis. Now let's see the derivative analysis based on the option chain analysis. Highest open interest for call side is 17,000 strike and for the put side is 15,100 strike. Overall 1,900 points banned and the expiry is on 12th May. According to the PCR analysis, Nifty PCR OI has decreased with Nifty negative close and when compared with the previous week which shows call writing is seen. India VAX has settled at 21.25 and when compared with the previous week, it shows slightly increasing in the volatility and the range in between is 17 to 23. So these are this week's derivative analysis. Now let's check out the recommendations. Coming to the cash corner, buy ITC above 263.8, target is 277.5 with a stop loss 250. Buy power grid above 240, the target is 255 with a stop loss 225. Coming to the F in the corner, buy bank nifty future near 34,500 with a target 34,700 with a stop loss 34,300. Based on the option strategy, long strangle, buy bank nifty 34,800 call option at 300 and buy bank nifty 34,500 put option at 280. 12th May will be the expiry. The total buy premium is 580. The target is 780 with a stop loss 380. Coming to the institutional activity, according to the previous week, the FII net sellers were minus 12,733.46 crores and for the May month, the FII net sellers are minus 12,733.46 crores and for the previous week, the DII net buyers were 8,533.26 crores and for the May month, the net buyers are 8,533.26 crores. So these are this week's Equity Weekly Market Commentary. For more market updates, join our Telegram channel and the YouTube channel. Thank you by Skybroking.